Right, welcome to another live hangout here on Patreon. Um, today's topic is going to be work and um, anything relate everything related to work. You know, the role of work in a healthy, fulfilling life. Um, and uh, so, all things related to work, basically, and especially the difference between work and a job as well because there's a difference there and we'll also talk about some of the jobs we've had mm-hmm. throughout the years uh, you know work is such a huge important part of life so we we want to talk more in depth about it yeah uh, we're using a new streaming system today hoping to be able to for ho- hopefully for you guys it's, it looks the same or, or rather it looks a lot better hopefully yeah because there shouldn't be any uh, lag and, and weirdness now but we need to make sure it's working though so if any of you guys are watching let us know in the chat that you're here uh oh, hey jenny hope you're having a great weekend thanks we are hope you're having a good weekend too mm-hmm. can you let us know jenny can you see us can you hear us is everything good and smooth yeah it looks perfect good 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 yeah. yeah matt has been uh looking into some technical stuff with the streaming because we've been having as you all know, you know, the streams haven't really, they've been lagging a little bit and especially the recording that posts uh, afterwards has been really bad. So the picture should be better today. Nice. Diane. Hey, Diane. Thanks. Glad the picture looks better. Yeah. Much better. Great. All right. So uh, before we get into it, I just again wanted to say that, you know, if you're watching the recording of this, which is uh, going to go on YouTube in a few weeks, uh, you can join the next live hangout on Patreon. Uh, and uh, uh, contribute in the chat. So uh, we do this every month, these uh, live hangouts. So go to sw- patreon.com sweet natural, at Sweet Natural Living. Yeah, um, yeah life is uh, full of awesomeness, and one of the awesome things in life is Believe wo- it or not. Is work. Um, I mean, let's, uh, let's take it back. Let's, let's just... Go back in a, f- in a few years mm-hmm. and uh, maybe first of all talk about our history, how we, or h- what our work was and have have been. Yeah, or our jobs rather. Yeah. Um, it's been pretty standard, at least for you. Uh, me, I haven't really had that many jobs. Uh, um, I worked a little bit in a f- food store, supermarket, supermarket uh, when I was thirteen, and then other than that, I've been working for my mother in her. Um, interiors and gift shop uh, and also doing just like lifting boxes and stuff that's pretty much all I've done yeah and then random jobs in, in cairns and like yeah physical that's like work this, that's like level two I'd say yeah but I mean normal jobs yeah. yeah I've had a ton of jobs I mean I can't even remember all of the jobs I started working in a supermarket when I was tw- uh, 13 and I worked there until I was like 20, um, part-time. I also worked in a cafe uh, for a few years. I've been a telemarketer. <laughs> I've been one of those people that annoy everyone, <laughs> calling them. I'm trying to sell car back or something? No, like no on the, on the t- as a telemarketer, I was just selling ads, actually. Yeah, no, I was thinking about But another that. time, I was on the street yeah. selling uh, like membership car things where people like they're me- they're a member and they have access to cars parked around the city this was in london mm. but that was only for a few weeks because i hated it and i actually ended up not really doing a good job at it mm. and i was fired actually <laughs> i was actually fired they were telling me uh, you know you're not a good fit for this job and yeah. and uh, that was i knew that so i was glad to be fired um what else i mean i've also worked a little bit in our mom's shop Mm-hmm. Uh, through the years, here and there, now and then. Um, that's yeah. I, that's a few of them. I mean, I've had I had lots more jobs, and then of course one of my main things throughout my life has been guitar teaching. Yeah, I, I've been a guitar teacher. I mean, I've had private students here in Norway uh, a few years back. I had like, quite a few students, and then in London when I was studying audio engineering, I had a lot of students, mm-hmm. like I think eighteen students or something at the most. Oh over two days every weekend so that's something I've done and now I'm doing that again anyway we worked basically with as everyone does you know we we, we've done 
our fair bit of work. Yeah. And, and yeah, then kind of something interesting happened because we um, we ended up in the situation that we wanted to travel. We didn't have a lot of money, so we basically sold everything we had, as you might know. Uh, with that money, we started traveling, but sooner or later, that money uh, started um, running out. Running out. So we had to be kind of creative, um, and that was that was a very interesting part. Finding jobs on the go, like out and about, mm-hmm. uh, when we were traveling, yeah. doing like coconut husk dehusking, yeah. um, standing on the street, being a statue with a weird costume. Yeah, uh, that was Matt did that at times. one point. Yeah. Um, but you know, and another interesting thing that happened when we were out traveling, though, was that um, but here's the thing with, with work. When you are saturated with too much work, like probably most people are, mm-hmm. um, you don't feel like work is something enjoyable. Most yeah. people kind of hate work because they they feel like it's like a burden that you have to carry like everyone has to work but no one wants to work that's Mm -hmm. sort of what a lot of people think and i remember i used to think like that Mm -hmm. and for the first few years of our travels when we did have enough money Mm -hmm. we didn't do any work right we had a couple of years there where we traveled well we came home to norway and did a little bit of work yeah in between but basically we were you know we had worked a lot we had studied Mm-hmm. We'd spend our time, and by the way, I consider studying and working as well. Yeah. Like it's it's about applying yourself to something. Mm-hmm. Let's we'll get into the definition of work uh, later. But my point is, after a few years of, well, during those years where we traveled without any work, mm-hmm. there was a it was kind of deficient in some respects. Like yeah. we would not really have anything to to build. Mm-hmm. Like we would travel. And I guess our work almost during those times was fruit hunting. Yeah, we spent. For sure. I we, mean, we spent the whole freaking day going to markets and carrying stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. It it does take. It's a full time. All let's say it's a part time job anyway to to hunt for fruit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's one of the it's one of the few and possibly the only downside to a fruit based diet. I'd say, at least when traveling, maybe. No, anywhere. It's the logistics. Uh, I know, Diane, you've, we've talked about this. I, you mentioned that, you know, how in, in New York City you have to carry a lot of your stuff or you pull it, you're walking a lot in New York City. And yeah, it can be challenging, right? To sometimes be able to get the volume of fruit needed mm-hmm. home. Yeah. Unless you have a car or something. And uh, so that's the challenge, but we enjoyed it. Yeah. It was our work. Mm-hmm. It, it was what we applied ourselves to. But... After a few years, that's when we noticed, hmm, what if we, you know, let's start a YouTube channel. And it was not really because of um, money at all. Like, we weren't considering it something that had to do with money. Yeah. Uh, although we did see, uh, you know, the possibility of making money off that project. But the main thing was actually to have something to do. And that, that doesn't mean we were bored. Mm-hmm. We were f- certainly not bored. We... As we said, we hunted fruit all day. We were tra- uh, exercising. We were exploring places. Mm-hmm. We were eating fruit, which was satisfying. But reading a lot. Slowly but surely, though, we did start to get bored. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't use the word bored because no. the bored is like you don't have anything to do and you're bored. Yeah, it's not that. It's, it's more, more like deficient or like yeah. something was lacking. I remember the first time we were talking about how we actually w- started to want to work. Uh, was um, when we were in Bali, I think, go before we went to Cairns for the first time. Uh, I remember the thought of like, oh, maybe we could go to Cairns, uh, and I, maybe I could get a work as a postman. Um, that didn't end up happening. Yeah, because we got a working holiday visa. That's yeah. how we get. That's how we got into Australia the first time on a working holiday visa, which is like a year. Mm-hmm. And we were definitely, we were, yeah, we were in Thailand and we were in Bali and we were just like, we want to, we want to have a more, we want to have more structure yeah. in our day and a little bit something like we want, want to have to do something, want to have to do something because when you, when you can just like do whatever, like holiday mm-hmm. vacation kind of mode, 
uh, that gets old pretty quick. You know, there's yeah. there's something special about someone else having expectations mm -hmm. uh, to what you're doing, and you sort of have to apply yourself to something. Ah, hey, Aneta, thanks for joining us. And by the way, guys, maybe if you want, you could share some of your jobs, uh, or you know, your favorite job that you had, or or, or the worst. Or the worst job. Let Many us know. Have a worst job. Yeah, tell us about it uh, in the chat, and we can talk about it, that too. Um, so, after we started Sweet Natural Living, things started changing for us. I I know, yeah. like it started becoming, life suddenly started becoming very rich in a, in, a, in a very nice way, because every day we would spend a few hours building something, right? Making a video answering comments, answering emails, helping people, uh, but also building a banner for the YouTube channel, making a Facebook page, making a logo almost, or, yeah. you know, there was, there's always, and still to this day, there's always things we can do mm -hmm. and we are doing. And kind of have to. Kind of have to, to build the project further. Yeah. Um, and that's a very, it's actually very satisfying because when you're doing something, you know you have to, and you kind of have to push yourself a little bit, have discipline. When you're done with that, you're going to feel extremely satisfied. It's not like going um, just, I don't know, I, I don't really have an example, but there's something special about work uh, where you have to do something uh, in terms of how satisfying the outcome is when you're done with it. Yeah, productivity is satisfying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which we could, we could, which brings us to what we could talk about now, which is actually like what why is what is work and why is it satisfying yeah. but before we do that though i want to see here jenny says i admit i hate my job it's just too much for me right now i'm at 50 hours per week well, that's quite a lot told them i was going to leave but they turned around and offered me part-time hmm. well interesting that you know um depending on the amount of work you might you might like to work part-time but you might also not like even that because Depending on if you actually hate your job yeah. as the job itself, or rather just because it's too much. But it could be because I mean, because you've been working fifty hours. It's that cool. could That's be the, that could be the reason you hate it. I mean, yeah. who knows? Maybe part time will work for you in that job, and you'll find that you actually enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, Jenny also says my worst job was being a fussy character, Mickey, at Disneyland. Oh. <laughs> my craziest job was being a monster in a maze at a Halloween event. <laughs> Wow, yeah. that's so cool. <laughs> that yeah, is cool. That's crazy. You have an interesting life. Um, Annetta says, I make mascot. Pretty fun architecture interior win wins so far. I don't, I didn't understand that. What, what does that mean, Annetta? You, I make mas you make mascots? What does that mean? Elaborate. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of I mean there's a lot of weird, cool, and horrible jobs out there. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember one time. This is the craziest job I've ever observed. Uh, I was in Dubai with a friend, um, and we were driving in a taxi, and we were at sort of far outside the city in a desert kind of area, and um, there was this roundabout uh, where you know had four exits, and it was just in the middle of nowhere. One of the exits led to a uh, golf course or something, uh, but only people that were, you know, supposed to go there, that knew they were going there, was going was allowed to go there. So there was a guy at the exit of the roundabout sitting in a chair, holding a sort of line that was across the road with a sign that is on only only people going to the only allowed for people going to the golf course or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he would sit there and I, I saw a car coming in and as the car approached, he let the the, oh, the yeah. rope down and the car passed and then he pulled the rope back up. So it was not like he was checking the car or, or making sure that they're allowed. Anyone was allowed, but you had to sort of show that you wanted to go in there. Mm -hmm. He quickly releases the the rope and then pulls it back up. And that was just like, Oh my God, he probably yeah, sits yeah. there for like 14 hours a day, just pulling a rope. I mean, <laughs> horrible uh, job. Terrible. Or, or maybe not. Ah, well, pretty boring. Uh, not very fulfilling. 
Okay, mascot like Mickey, you know those yeah. mascots. Yeah. Mascots. Okay, cool. You that's kind of interesting, though. You make those. That's that's fun. Hmm. Nice. Um. All right. So, uh, should we uh, then let's define work? Yeah. Like, what what is what is work? Because first of all, you know, I I'd like to say that work is not necessarily the same as a job. No. Uh, a job is pretty much where you're hired. Mm-hmm. Um, for money. Yeah, for a specific purpose yeah. they have in mind. You, they want you to do something for them. You do a job. Yeah. Uh, whereas work, work is is a very wide definition. I mean, it's it for me. Work could be anything that you are passionate about. Mm-hmm. That you put your energy into that you put your spiritual energy into you could almost say Mm -hmm. like it's something that you apply when you apply yourself to it you build something a project uh doesn't have to be a project though it could just be what you do on a daily basis your work you know Mm -hmm. putting energy into creating something um not necessarily building something i mean it, it can be anything from doing the same thing over and over again every day um or it can be creating a business like we're doing with Sweet Natural Living. Mm-hmm. But like, for example, people that are artists, people that, you know, paint, mm-hmm. people that uh, create sculptures or whatever, um, that's work. Yeah. Even if they're just doing it on their free time and there's no money involved, because again, just like work and jobs are not the same thing, mm-hmm. money has nothing to do with work. Mm-hmm. You can make your work make money i mean you can you can facilitate you can make your you can make it so you can arrange it so that the work you're doing also makes money but it's not a it doesn't have to do anything with each other like uh, my english is suddenly (laughs) terrible uh it doesn't it's not related directly no i think people get what you're saying though yeah so for example i I, yeah you were saying something no i was just gonna talk about exercise yeah how exercise can also be a part of work i mean some people actually like olympic people or whatever elite athletes yeah they might earn money from from um from doing their uh, their exercise or um, training um and that's one way to get money but it doesn't you don't need to get money uh just for exercise to be work like it, for me now, I've been to the gym today, uh, and that's the work I've done today. I feel very productive. I've accomplished something. I'm working toward a goal. Um, so yeah, you know, you might not necessarily need the the money aspect of it to for something to be yeah. work. Yeah, same with me with running. I consider it my work. Mm-hmm. Um, so interestingly enough, some people can can work all day they can work their ass off at a job Mm -hmm. but it's kind of not really work if they're not necessarily it could be argued that it's not work it's just uh doing a job Uh, you know could argue that it's not necessarily work because they're not building something there's not there's no passion there's no creative energy involved Mm -hmm. you know if we wanted to define it in further i mean Mm -hmm. Uh, but on the other hand you could also have someone does their work without making any money Mm -hmm. like someone who goes out running every day and that's their that's their art form you know that's their work uh, but they're not making any money of it the best scenario of course in this world money is a useful tool Mm -hmm. so why not try to combine your work with something that brings money in yeah in fact if you want to live in this society you kind of have to because it's tricky getting i mean you, you, you Money is the way we we do exchange everything. energy. Yeah. That's one. That's it's the way we get food, right? Mm-hmm. We, it's the way we. So unless you want to hunt and grow your own food, and well, we don't necessarily think we should hunt, obviously, but that's what most people will do. So that yeah. just came to mind. But if you want to f- grow your own food, and if you want to li- live like a hermit, but if you want to interact with society, money is a good way to do it. And I lo- I think money is awesome. I mean, it's a yeah. great system. And the good thing about this is that I can do my work. Like, for example, I can make videos. We can make videos. Mm-hmm. We make this, this Patreon thing. Uh, we can, uh, I can write books uh, and we can sell ebooks. And that's us doing our work, being, doing what we're passionate about. 
and we are getting money from it as well yeah. because people want the content people want the information and they're willing to pay for it with the energy that they've spent on their work yeah. <laughs> to get money so, so it's I, I think it's a really nice system mm -hmm. um let's just get quickly to the comments a little bit diane says that the you know the guy the rope guy the rope. gets to be outside the rope guy gets to be outside so that's <laughs> but true it is in dubai though yeah it might be 70 freaking celsius that's true it's pretty so. hot in dubai uh, out in the desert but you know maybe he's got some coconuts and uh, <laughs> some fruit with him and it's just getting really strong biceps yeah. um jenny teaching dance has definitely been the best work ever for me makes me happy just as much as it provides money cool mm -hmm. um only a job no meaningful work yeah that's 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 the situation for a lot of people i think having a job but not really finding it meaningful mm -hmm. uh, right now she's an administrative medical assistant at, a, at an orthopedic clinic mm -hmm. okay is that that's her feet right yeah ped orthopedic yeah my feet so. are me my feet are weird i want to go to the orthopedic pe clinic pedian maybe you can ask her for some advice though maybe maybe you could, uh, you know help Matt's with his feet um i was just thinking that uh i remember uh, there's a lot of people who say maybe and i was thinking this as well before that oh you should um you should buy land uh, work up a lot of money uh, and then buy land in some uh some foreign country uh, belize or something like that cheap and then uh, you can just live without working for the rest of your life and now there's two parts of this one it is you're working because you have to uh, you have to grow all your food on your own and that's insane amounts of work arguably not necessarily insane amounts of work but i mean no, it's but work have, yeah but uh, depending on how you do it yeah and your your knowledge about the how to do it etc Gonna, you're gonna have to put in a lot of hours so it's definitely sure a, probably less hours than the average job though but but well, that that's was, the, no, that was, let's yeah. not spend time on yeah. that i mean sure you gotta work um oh, i forgot the second part you know you're out there and you're not working yeah basically if you get to a point where you have um basically a perfect fruit garden uh, providing all the food you need uh, you don't need to work at all most people who are already overworked are going to think of this as paradise oh you live out your days without having to lift a finger for just the being the life. hammock all day yeah yeah uh, that was appealing to us as well in the beginning when we first started traveling mm -hmm. but as we talked about after a while it's just not satisfying it's yeah. it's actually quite terrible it's arguably well i've never been extremely overworked but uh it's as bad as being totally overworked being underworked is horrible yeah underworked is not fun i mean if you think about it our lives right now mm -hmm. are extremely busy yeah i mean we invest we make sure that we have enough time in the morning to have an easy start. Yeah. We make sure we have enough time in the evening to rest up. Mm -hmm. But for the middle of the day, majority of the day, we're working, we're training. Mm -hmm. All those two things mainly. Working and yeah. training, which is all of it is our work, you could say. Yeah. And I love it. I mean, I'm super busy and I love it. I'm not a day without anything to do. Like if I'm sick or something and I just literally have to lie around all day. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. So boring and so unsatisfying yeah. uh, so definitely work is um, a blessing mm -hmm. being able to work and having something passionate that, that you're passionate to put your energy into every day is um, is awesome mm -hmm. see a hall hello I used to grow the majority of my own food when I lived in the States. Although it was hard, a lot of hard work depending on the season, it was so rewarding to, rewarding to eat your own homegrown delicious yeah. fruits and veggies yeah i i can imagine yeah it's it's like possibly the most rewarding thing you could do because it's it's literally reaping your own reaping what you sow i mean it's it's perfect yeah if you're into that um we were really inspired about permaculture and uh growing food we have books here about it um, yeah 
This one, I just want to, since you mentioned it, yeah. this one's not even about growing food, but it is an awesome book about just sustainable living. Mm -hmm. that I highly recommend it. One of the best books I've ever read in my whole life. Maybe we'll do a, a book product recommendation. Check this one out too. The One Story Revolution, right? Yeah. Spoke about that recently. Perfect book. Um, yeah. Um, Alabama. Okay, cool. Ten years. Nice. And where do you live now exactly? Is it the UK, was it? Or... Um, alrighty. So, where should we go now? Um, well, something on my mind. Um, um, well, the, ra the last thing was... Okay, England, yes. Cool. How do you like it there now compared to Alabama? Pretty different climate. Um, well, you know, the last thing you said was uh, it's just as bad being underworked as being overworked. Yeah. Which can brings us to actually talking about what is the ideal amount of work? Yeah. Uh, that's an interesting topic because uh, mm -hmm. just like everything, we need enough. We don't want too much. We don't want too little. Mm-hmm. Um, most uh, Western countries uh, seem to have the idea that uh, the, a decent amount of work is eight hours a day uh, from nine to five or eight to four. Um, but uh, that's for five days, obviously. Um, oh, where was I going? Uh, yeah, in Sweden, however. Uh, apparently they've started with six hour workdays. Yep, officially, uh, that's the official thing mm -hmm. now. Six mm -hmm. hour workdays, which is much better. Yeah. I think though that the eight hour day uh, probably is a result of how society works rather than like people thinking it's the ideal amount of work to yeah. do probably. I think pretty much everyone is agrees that that's too much. Or it is feels, a bit too much. It feels pretty heavy. Yeah, and one of the, one of the reasons I've heard that uh, Sweden put it down to six hours is that they, they've, they've found like scientifically yeah. that people get more done mm -hmm. in six hours than eight because eight hours there's so much sort of um, non-productive time yeah. whereas with, if it's six hours people are more productive getting it done and then they get to go home mm -hmm. uh, and not only that but the fact that they get to go home earlier they get more free time and get more recovery time Mm -hmm. They come back to work the next day with more enthusiasm and more power and more energy. Yeah. So it's it's a really nice nice thing. Um, England. Yeah. She says, I absolutely love it except for the poor quality fruits and veg. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. UK, I mean, England is a beautiful place. Uh, definitely. But, and, and you know, it's probably one of the best places in Europe to get fruits and veg though. Except for maybe south of Spain and stuff like that. Like yeah. in terms of northern Europe, at least, you know, England is probably it's a metropolis uh, with lots of. If you're close to London, to I guess. Yeah. If you're not close to London, then there's probably maybe it's not that easy. Um, she also says, "I agree. Shorter days are more productive for me, but I work from home and can generally generally set my own hours." Mm -hmm. That's that's true. Working from home or working. B yeah. by yourself it's, it's the most it's, that's where you can make the most uh, you know perfect work day mm -hmm. like we do well that kind of brings us to what we do right now mm -hmm. um, I right now am ver working four hours for three days a week uh, painting uh, the, and re refurbishing the old house uh, our mother and father is going to um, live in yeah so um, 12 hours a week basically yeah and that's very little for for most people but of course we're also getting income from other sources like sweet natural living mm -hmm. but you also do a little bit of, i mean we have a, like you know i i do most of the work for sweet natural living mm -hmm. like 80 percent probably mm -hmm. uh, so i spend my days doing that but the little some of the time during the week a little bit of the time i do some physical work as well helping out with the refurbishing basically moving some stuff to the dump and stuff yeah. driving the tractor uh, but then and Matt's for you is just the exact opposite you do yeah. most of the physical work but then again you do do Maybe about an hour a day of uh, sweet natural living related stuff yeah 
So a good combination, but uh, interesting that there's a difference between physical work and men mental or computer yeah. work, right? They're very similar in that you can get exhausted from both. Yeah. So what is the ideal amount of work then? Well, I kind of feel like whatever it is, well, before I say that, just want to mention that in addition to working 12 hours a week, and for me, uh, plus sweet natural living, maybe you're totaling about 15, 16 hours a week. Yeah. That's probably the same as me. In addition to that, though, we have our second job, you could say, or our other work, which is training. Yeah. So that's an, another many hours of training, right? Yeah, yeah. So altogether, we are, we are spending close to a fairly, you know, a six-hour day. We're probably not that far away from a six-hour day. No, because other stuff that's not considered work as well is stuff like doing the dishes, washing the house, um, shopping. Stuff like this is also going to be work because you have to do it. Yeah. And it takes energy, mental energy as well. So it's part of the part of the ideal work. So uh, let's talk about what the definition of how many hours is good work. Mm -hmm. And let's also talk about what work is from a biological evolutionary perspective too. Yeah. Uh, but before we do that, we'll attend to the chat once again. Um, so basically... Bottom. what to do from home uh she yep. says that um i live far from london okay so it's not that good then maybe with the fruit or is this well as you said uh, poor quality fruits and veg so um and then sort of jenny and autumn is just talking with each other um thanks plus my work plus i work with my hubs so we get a lot of free time if we work hard on those shorter days. Okay. I think the perfect work situation is half mental, half physical. That's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Because as I totally. said, I, I do most of my work you know, on the computer sitting down. And the fact that I also train and run a lot uh, means that I get that perfect balance. Yeah. Um, you are pretty much double up physical work though because you <laughs> some days you work physical, the other days you train. Mm -hmm. So you're more active than me in that sense. Yeah. But you're tolerating it quite well. Yeah, you can you can basically your body adapts to pretty much anything. Fitness. Yeah. It's uh, fit to work, you know, you can get fit. Mm -hmm. People that are working very physical jobs, they have to get be fit for it and yeah. they do get fit fitter and fitter as they do it more and more. Um so who knows how it would be if I were to I would probably adapt to working more hours as well. But from a from what I've experienced, two hours a day of physical work is uh, too little. Um, I would say it doesn't really just apply to physical work now. No, physical and mental yeah. work is the same thing. Yeah, you get exhausted from both. Yeah, one hour of something is not a, it's not really it's working. It's not really doing but, it. But it is, you know, getting something done maybe. Yeah. Like just quickly doing something for one hour, sure. But but typically you want, you want to have a work block every day of more than two hours. Mm-hmm. Maybe three three hours is pretty ideal, I'd say. Four yeah. hours is on the long end of ideal. And of course, um, don't forget that this is every day. Um, because if you're working too much in the weekdays, you're going to have to need the, the weekend. weekend to kind of recover. And that's not ideal. That's not perfectly healthy, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's better. better to have a, a certain amount you do every day and you want to do that amount every single day. Yeah. I haven't had a weekend or a vacation in years. Well, I mean, we do have weeks now and then where we don't work, like when we went to the you know, cabin and stuff like that. Yeah. There are, I think it's healthy to have small breaks, but but your point is still mm -hmm. definitely valid. I agree totally. Like, mm -hmm. It's better to do a little bit of work every day and work pretty much seven days a week. Yeah. Or like with training, I like to train six days a week and have one like, obligatory rest day yeah. this is paradisation in in exercise physiology and it applies to work as well so depending on ideally we don't want to be overworked one day and have to recover for the next few days so yeah. ideal amounts of work for that situation again we get fit we get adapted to more or less work but i typically think that if we want to have a fulfilling life with time for other things than just that mm -hmm. and enough time for recovery etc and enough time to train Typically, between two and four hours, like three to four hours is ideal. 
five hours that's a little bit long but that's definitely doable six hours definitely long but again still doable once you get into seven and eight hour days uh, it's too much uh, for, for optimal health in my opinion but of course anything is doable but because uh, we mustn't also forget that uh, if you are working eight hours a day um, if you want to sleep enough like we're we're spending at least I'm probably spending about just about 10 hours uh, in bed. I'm not necessarily sleeping all that time, but uh, I don't. I wouldn't want to have any shorter time than that. Yeah. And if the, I were to spend- another way to put it, that I I typically, you know, I typically start aiming for bed, like going to brush my teeth and stuff, about 12 hours before I actually get up out of bed. So for 12 hours of the 24 hours, I'm. I'm bed bound, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm heading to bed, I, I'm, I'm in bed, I'm sleeping for part of that time, and I'm reading and stuff, like, recovery is such a, you know, and you were saying, like, if you want to take care of your sleep and actually sleep enough, yeah. you can't work that much, No, it's just, I mean, you can, but you're not going to have time for almost anything else, you won't be able to buy food, and, mm-hmm. and then you end up eating junk, junk food, typical scenario, people mm-hmm. are overworked, they end up eating poorly, because they don't have the energy and the effort to actually go and find the good quality food and, and buy it and or even eat it. or even eat because it yeah. some people i know people saying that they work so much they don't have time to eat the proper lunch and stuff that's that's, that's not good that's, that's not a life worth living is it uh, diane says it's uh, it's nice to be in a situation where you don't feel like you desperately need a vacation exactly mm-hmm. i think once you feel like you need a vacation it's too much it, you're, you've done too much yeah that being said though when you sort of need a vacation on a sort of uh, in a relaxed way, like yeah, I think it's about time I yeah, I take in, a little in a break week or so. I'm 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 I'll I'll be doing that. Yeah, like periodization again. Yeah, like taking a taking a recovery week, right? Taking a what's this? Uh, it's fine. It's Some just, technical stuff. No, it's just okay. Totally just you know, taking a recovery week now and then. Great idea. Ta- refreshing your environment. And traveling, you know, those sort of things are great. So, yeah, um, yeah there are a lot of extreme jobs. Uh, ironically, so many people that work so hard for a vacation that winds up being exhausting for them. Yeah, people go on vacation and then they have to go around seeing everything yeah, and doing all things. And they end up actually having to point. recover from their vacation. Not really good. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the reason for that is because their their life is so lacking in purpose and excitement like it's yeah. so monotonous that once they're out there in the world going somewhere new they feel like they have to fill it with so much happenings because they're yeah. so frustrated from not doing exciting things in their lives yeah so it's kind of like if we you spend to too everything. much time of your life working a job you don't you hate you not only lack recovery and you become overworked physically mm-hmm. but you've become deficient in life you know yeah. um Love how much important you guys put on sleep. I was raised in a house where you, if you slept more than six hours, you were considered lazy. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a common yeah. sort of thought, uh, idea in society nowadays. And I think, again, it comes from this... If you go to Japan or something like that, mm-hmm. they have this mindset that you need to work... You need to work yourself to death, almost. Yeah. Like, any any type of like taking care of yourself and resting... Is considered a waste of time, right? Yeah, sleeping is uh, is a bad thing. Yeah, but of course reason. we know, we all know here that sleeping is awesome. I mean, sleeping that's like where you recharge yourself so that you can be creative. And uh, probably if if someone is in the situations where they have where they have a job that they hate, and they're but they're frustrated and they're overworked and they're afraid that if they quit their job. Uh, they will not have enough money or they won't have a life or something. I recommend that they do quit their job and they really rest up, sleep a lot. And I guarantee you, if you're getting enough sleep and if you're getting enough carbohydrates and if Mm -hmm. you're staying hydrated, (laughs) those three things, you will come up with some awesome ways to uh, apply your energy to something cool that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, if you really enjoy what you're doing and you're putting energy into it, it's gonna yield money as well yeah. if you make it so. So it's all up to you, basically. Mm-hmm. Jenny's uh, chilling in bed. 
Um, so just at the end there, let's now talk quickly about why do we have this need to work? Mm -hmm. And I think the answer comes very, it's very obvious really if you think about it. Yeah. Every animal needs to find food mm -hmm. and maybe build shelters and, and fend off predators and guard territory and find a mate. And, but specifically food is like a daily chore that needs to happen, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, and this has been happening for millions of years. We have to have some kind of reward system, uh, other than just the reward of uh, the, of the food itself. I think um, something that encourages us to go out. Yeah, and we want to go out because we know it feels good afterwards. Yeah, and not only because we know it feels good afterwards, no. but we have an, an an innate urge. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, because that's not the same, of course, as to say it, we know Mentally, it feels good. No. Yeah, because knowing it feels good afterwards, that's the that's an idea mm -hmm. that we can, and, and that plays a role too. Mm -hmm. But don't you all agree that you know if you're home a whole day in your house, you get like, I think they call it cabin fever, right? Like you just mm -hmm. kind of like you're stuck in one place and you just go like crazy because you're stuck. Yeah, that's probably a natural thing for us. We you know when when we when we've slept enough. We wake up in the morning after maybe having breakfast or whatever, or maybe before. We want to go out and we want to do something. Yeah. We want to go somewhere and make something happen. And this is this is because we were meant to start foraging, right? Go out and you look at the chimpanzees and the bonobos. They they move, right? They move out around. They forage. They have to work in order to get their food. Yeah. So work is a it's a it's a very natural thing when you look at nature. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a life without work, both physical and mental, I think, because probably physical work is the most rewarding in the sense that it's the most natural for us to actually go out and move our bodies. Yeah. But in this society where we're, and humans, the fact that we're so advanced intellectually means that we like to play around with the world of ideas and yeah. to create things and to work on the computer and research and learn and study. And it can definitely be very, uh, very productive feeling. I mean, yeah, yeah. When, when we when we work on sweet natural living and we have, oh, today I've done this, 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 and this, and this, it feels extremely productive. Yeah, right now we're feeling productive right now, mm -hmm. doing this hangout, mm -hmm. which is also very socially satisfying as well, hanging out with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so... But just to say that, you know, if you are doing a, f a mental job, if you are working on a computer, you probably, in order to be fully satisfied and fulfilled, you also need to move your body. Yeah. You cannot just have a computer job. Uh, a computer job will never be as satisfying as a physical job. So if you're working on a computer, you need to also get some exercise and some training in. Yeah. Can, and, and if you're, yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you're uh, having a physical job, but also doing a little bit of work on the computer, that could be a good combination. Yeah, because, because you're, you're resting. You're physically. resting physically. Mm -hmm. For me, it's perfect because I want to train and build myself as a runner. And so I can recover physically while I'm working on the computer. Mm -hmm. So it's, for me, it's a perfect combination. So um, yeah, work is a great part of life. I love working. Yeah. It's, and... Uh, you might, if you're totally overworked, you might hear those words and think, oh, no, uh, I don't want to work at all. But uh, it, trust me, it's not true. Uh, it's true for a very short amount of time where you recover. And after that, you're going to want to have something to do. Yeah. Have something to You know, it's interesting to. when it comes to training physiology, when they're talking about overtraining syndrome, yeah. uh, the most common sort of sign that you're overtrained, truly overtrained, is that you're lacking a motivation to train like you're you're, you're dreading the sessions yeah. you you're not keen on training mm -hmm. uh, and then you start you back off and start recovering and soon enough when you once you fully recover your urge to tra to train comes back and this is the same for for working when you're overworked you just hate it yeah. but then as soon as you recover like most people experience on a vacation mm -hmm. at the end of the vacation it's like I'm ready to go get back to work. But then the problem is they get back to work and it's already too much from the first day even because it's too much work on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yeah. yeah, ideally we should be working a few hours every day 
some physical, some mental, mm. and doing something we're passionate about. And anyone can do that if that's what they want. They just have to believe in themselves and just do it, basically. Yeah. Hello, Tim. Uh, too, too bad you're late. We're like just on the end. Yeah, we're really wrapping it up now. Um, but uh, Tim, let us know at the end here. Just uh, We've been talking about work. Uh, do you have a job right now or do you have any work that you're doing at the moment? You want to share it with us just at the end here? Um, yeah, as we said, we were just wrapping it up. Enough quality sleep changes your whole perspective. Yeah, definitely sleep. Sleep and carbohydrates yeah. <laughs> make you super productive and excited about life. It's also obviously, we haven't really talked much about that, how how important it is to do something you actually love doing. Um, like regardless, if you're doing something you kind of hate, um, you, you might feel productive, but it's not going to be satisfying. I mean, this is obvious, but um, doing work you love and, and really trying to find that work you love uh, is possibly one of the most important things you can do for health. I mean, you can't live a healthy life if you're hating what you're doing and being stressed out and stuff like that. Mm, true. Uh, Tim says, "Nope, I'm studying right now, and I love it. You know, that's if uh, when you watch, if you watch the recording of this live stream later, you'll see that we've talk, talked about how even studying, anything you do can be considered work. Yeah. And the way I see it, when you're studying something, that's definitely work. You know, you wake up in the morning and you go to school, or you go to the library, or, or you just sit down and read." It's definitely something that you apply yourself to and focus on. So it's work in the true sense of the word, even though you're not making money from it directly right there and then. Yeah. And it's true. It's never too late to change careers work either. I completely changed from a job I like to a job I love at 48. Cool. That's uh, that's inspiring to hear. And Diane asks, what kind of music do you play? Uh, you mean like listen to or or play on the guitar? probably play on the guitar in that case i don't play anything except the joe harp which is weird and i don't really play it at all almost well we need to wrap it up if diane can let me know what her question was about i will answer it and then we'll wrap it up yeah it was a good uh, good topic mm -hmm. you can just say what music you play on the guitar a guitar yeah, yeah. I play blues. And I play uh, reggae. And I play funk. And like... That kind of stuff. And heavy metal. <laughs> yeah, no, not really heavy metal though. So there you go. Uh, glad you liked it, Jenny. Um, thanks everyone. Keep playing guitar. I don't have any videos of me playing now. I don't think. Um, maybe I'll uh, make a video about it. <laughs> you could do that. Or more. more. <laughs> I could do that. I could make that for you guys if you want. I can make a little video just on Patreon, just to share with you guys. Um, all right, I promise an encore. I'll, I'll make a, a video where I play a little bit just for you guys here on Patreon. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, sporting. just at the end, you know, I have played in the videos. If you think about it, the, the intro that we have on YouTube, the, you know, the mm -hmm. reggae song, that's, I made that song. Like, I, I'm playing everything in that song and I produced it myself, actually, so. Yeah. All right. All right, so. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Have a good day. We'll be enjoying our dinner. If you're hearing the, the, the yeah. stuff, it's just the stove. The water is uh, boil, uh, getting to boil. All right, so thanks for joining us. Thanks for all your support on Patreon. It's, uh, it means the world to us. Mm. And uh, thanks for that. All right. All right. Have a good day and talk to you later. All right. Bye.